What is up you guys, my name is Apprentice and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to get over or avoid a hangover. Now before we start I want to point out my hand is kind of healed, I say it's healed, it's still got a fracture in it. Um, so, but I can pick up things which is the more important thing. I don't have to wear it strapped up so that's that. And also I am not a doctor or a medical profession, I've not studied the subject for the last 20 years or anything. So what I'm going to sort of impart is my own knowledge from working in a bar, self research, self taught, that sort of thing. Anyway. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so before I give you the tips, there's something that we need to understand first of all, and that is the hangover itself, uh, what the effects are and what effects can help it. Um, essentially, a hangover is like an experience of unpleasant uh, sort of physiological or psychological effects, whether it be sort of like dizziness, uh, nausea, sore head, dry mouth, uh, pain in the body, that sort of thing. And there is a few factors that affect what causes a hangover. One of which, or the main one, is dehydration. Dehydration of the body. Uh, the more uh, ethanol you, on, you take on board, uh, the more you obviously urinate, uh, which sort of uh, dehydrates the body. Another thing is the glucose level. Uh, obviously, more ethanol again uh, reduces your blood sugar level, takes all the glucose or the glucose enzymes out of the blood uh, and out of yeah, your sort of your general system. So that's another thing. And the other one is the uh, cogeners. And so cogeners are essentially an additive that's added to alcohol that sort of affects the distinctive taste in like beer, wine, spirits, that sort of thing. And what they do is they aggravate the hangover. So they essentially make the, the effect worse um, on your body. So that's the, the three sort of effects that, that cause the hangover. Now there is a few factors that determine how hungover you will be or, or that sort of thing. One of which is sort of your metabolism. If you have a very fast metabolism, you will not get hungover. However, this isn't a factor that we can control, so I'm gonna give you my tips that you can control. Okay, so the first tip is if you've been out drinking, when you come in, you wanna have a pint of water before you go to sleep. That is a must. And when I say that, I don't mean like, say for example, you're not gonna go to sleep for like five hours. You don't wanna drink one pint over five hours. If it's that case, you wanna drink you know, pint continuously. Uh, but if, you, if you're planning on going straight to bed, come in, have a pint of water, refill your glass, have another pint of water sitting next to your bed, and then go to bed. When you wake up, you will feel better. I'm not saying you'll feel amazing, but you'll feel better than you would have if you hadn't gone to bed without one. Also, it means if you wake up in the night, in the night with dry mouth, or wake up in the morning with dry mouth, you know, drink some of the water, back to sleep, happy days, wake up, and then move on to my next tip. And the next one is to drink something that's got high sugar content. Now, Iron Brew is seen as sort of a miracle hangover cure, and that is because it is loaded with sugar. Now, unhealthy amounts of sugar in this, However, if you have a glass bottle of Iron Brew, this one's a 750, like I will always have a, like a bottle of this next to my bed when I'm coming in from drinking, because I know in the morning it's gonna save my life. Now, another factor is also you need to eat. When you like wake up, you might be feeling ill, you might be feeling sick, but important thing is you wanna eat because you wanna get rid of the congeners or you wanna soak up the congeners that are in your system. Now the best thing to soak them up is fatty foods. They absolutely hate fatty foods. The fatty foods eat away at the congeners in your system. So, as recap quickly, pint of water, sh like fizzy sugary drinks in the morning and then food. However, there is a thing that you can do which I call smart drinking to sort of reduce the hangover effects in the first place and I'll talk about that just now. So obviously as we stated, you know, dehydration, uh, reduced bl blood sugar level and cogeners affect sort of how bad your hangover is. Now, as I said, there's smart drinking that you guys can do to affect uh, how much of a hangover you essentially get now. One of which is thinking about what kind of mixers you can have with your drink. Now obviously if you drink something like orange juice, it's going to be or have a better effect for you than drinking pint after pint after pint. When I say orange juice, I mean like like a vodka orange or if you drink amaretto cranberry, that sort of thing. It's going to be better than drinking beer and wine because they're just pure sort of soaked in ethanol and cogeners. Uh, so obviously vitamin C in the orange juice uh, sort of rejuvenates your system. Same with the cranberry juice, all the vitamins and minerals on there will help your body. Also thinking about what you're drinking, uh, and don't just mean like sort of like spirit mixer versus beer, I mean like what kind of spirits you're drinking. So when I go out, I'll also always have uh, spirits that are like very dense in glucose or like sugar. So obviously amaretto has a higher sugar content than gin does. Like it's, it's a known fact, it's a gloopier syrup. Syrup makes the, reduces the ethanol level, so hence why this sits at 40% and this sits at 28%. It's, it's, a, it's a known fact. So if you have something like an amaretto cranberry versus a, say, gin and coke, I don't know why you drink gin and coke, but if you did, you're obviously gonna feel a lot better in the morning, provided you have the same amount, have an amaretto cranberry, than you will gin and, gin and coke. And my last tip, if you don't wanna have a hangover, 
don't drink. It's simple as that, it comes with the territory. As I've explained, these are tips you can do to sort of help avoid a hangover. However, it's never 100% guaranteed. If you go extremely hard and you're not thinking about what you're drinking and you don't care when you come in and you wake up and just complain and moan all day, your hangover is essentially gonna be worse than it could have been. But that's my tips, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to smash the like button if much you and greatly appreciate it. If you guys wanna see more of this kind of thing or have any suggestions for tips for next time, make sure you let me know what it is in the comment section down below. Feel free to go check out all my social media. Links to them will be in the description. Other than that, guys, though, until next time, I've been the Prentai, and I'll see you all soon.